Yo. Okay. <laughs> Can we just, first of all, acknowledge how ridiculously large this box is for the product I'm about to pull out? Ready? What is this? You know what this is? This is gonna be my kids' toys for the next like 48 hours until I lose my mind and throw it away. So, I ordered something for the ferrets out of this obscene box. Which, by the way, um, so for those of you that don't know, I have um, eight ferrets and I have rescued Mm, six of them. Okay, six of them uh, had nowhere to go, nowhere to live. One was abused. They, it's like a passion of mine. I love them. They're a lot of work. So if you ever like are interested in getting one, message me so I can tell you how many hours a week I spend taking care of them. So I probably spent an hour today with them. And then I also spent 40 minutes cleaning the cage. That is their cage, that giant... Oh, that's the TV. Over there. Okay, they have two Ferret Nation cages combined together. And with that combined together, we disconnected the middle part. Um, so that way, it is like a full cage. So I have... I'm, I'm that crazy Ferret lady. Hello. Um, and I have a bags to bring them places. And I always feel bad if I bring one or two and not like all, I'm an all or nothing person, so I need to bring them all. So I was like, if we bring them somewhere, I can't physically handle two kids, David, and eight ferrets. Like I'm not, I'm, I like to consider myself pretty badass, but I'm not anywhere near that badass. So I ordered them a playpen. <laughs> I'm a lunatic. I'm fully aware. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on the picture. So that's what it's going to look like. It's a dog playpen. Um, I'm in a lot of ferret forums on Facebook and this one was recommended and I liked it because I was looking at a few of them and I liked it because I could carry this. You know what I mean? Like this is easy and then I have three travel bags like you would see like a chihuahua in I have something similar to those but three in there for a million freaking ferrets okay so I want to see how this is the brand I think I ordered from chewy.com um, but that's the brand let's see how easy this is to put up I put them away like an hour ago too so they're all passed out sleeping Too what is this? My concern was how big it is. And there's no instructions, so how do I get this off? Someone just go. I'm gonna fail forward with you guys. So <laughs> oh I have like a <laughs> in the shit. <laughs> Zip it up. This is huge. Holy crap. This goes on the top, I'm assuming. It's a little more challenging than I anticipated, but I'm sure after I do it like 15 times, I'll get used to it. That's really big. Like, that's perfect. Holy crap. I could totally fit my kids in here. Maybe even David if I fold him up currently. I can fit my kids in here, my 30 pound Maine Coon that's drinking out of the toilet as we speak, and maybe David. Um, so this is so I can take them out in public to be more weird than I'm already am. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's huge. I think this is just like, this is good for when we travel, this is good for like, just to bring them outside so they can get some fresh air. <gasps> Come here. Oh. Me tie. Okay, so the ferrets will be fine because he's 30 pounds and there's still plenty of room. What is that? We're gonna put you in there with the ferret. 
Is what did <laughs> Ty? So small rant. I was at work, and if you know where I work, please don't say it. Um, I work night shifts or late shifts, and there was a situation that happened the other day that got my blood boiling like no tomorrow. Um, there is this obviously probably like 17, 18 year old autistic man and I was talking with him and I also had to let a customer use our work phone and he was like there's a customer using the work phone and I was like I know buddy I know that's like against the rules that are like imprinted in your head because Hazel's the same way like once you make rules there's no breaking them freaking ever and I was like it's okay and we just kept talking and he eventually went up and hung up the phone um, and then the guy told me to call the cops and I'm like, I'm not calling the cops on him because the cops are going to come and be like, you are breaking the, like, the kid's going to be like, he's breaking the rules. And I'm not calling the cops on an autistic kid. And then I explained to the man, after I like calmed the situation, made them leave, I explained to the man that he has autism. And he's like, I get it. I'm like, no, no, you don't get it. Because if you got it, you would understand you're breaking the rules, not him. He just doesn't understand why you're on our phone. I like lost my sh like. I asked the wrong person to call the cops. I'm just, I was like, I did like walk away. Look, you're trying to figure out how to get out. <laughs> so this would be good. This is, I like this. And it's really like durable material. You can tell that it's like, even the netting is like a plastic kind of film on it. So when they try to like edit, it's not gonna work. And I caught, okay, lesson learned today. I did laundry. I know I'm like rambling. I haven't done live in a while. You're welcome. Um, I did laundry with all the ferrets out because I let them out most of the time when David's not home. Okay, so they're like stealing my laundry. They're <laughs> stealing my laundry. They stole an entire package of diapers and I see Skye, it's a little, little white one, pulling them down the hall and I grab it and she's like, Hee. and I'm like, really? You're stealing like a pack? And then I saw like a couple of them go with socks and I was like, this is never gonna happen again. I was like folding towels and they're like jumping out the towels thinking it was playtime. Hey, what do you think? You like it? So this also has lessons learned, right? This has a door just for you. I like it, it's pretty dope. I can take some places now. I'm sorry I rambled, you guys are awesome. I'll talk to you guys later.